Good evening, sir. Our group members consist of Orbit Shadowhat, Ongon Ghosh, Orbit Chaudhuri, and myself, Ojit Pal. And our topic is deterministic push down automata. There are some content uh, which we will cover in our presentation. That is introduction to DPDA, formal definition, examples of DPDA, explanation, and some gate level MCQ questions and acknowledgement of bibliography. Next slide, please. Okay. So, the first is in introduction. The deterministic push-down automata is a variation of push-down automata that accepts the deterministic uh, context-free languages. Uh, that means that if, uh, if if it is accepted by a deterministic push-down automata, if and only there is a single computational from the in initial configuration until and accepting for all the strings. So it is not as powerful as non-deterministic non finite automata. So that is why it is less used and used only when deterministic is much in easier to implement. So, next slide please. Uh, it is a formal definition of deterministic uh, PDF, push down automata. So, uh, deterministic push down automata is a five tuple consisting of summation T, Q, uh, capital Q, and small q and delta. So, summation it is a finite state of state which does not contain any uh, blank symbol. Uh, second uh, is that T which is a finite set of stack of alphabets and the third is q q means a set of states and the fourth is small q that is a start state and uh, transition function which is uh, noted with delta so the next page so that is the end of my part the next slide will be explained by Anton. thank you Vijit and good evening sir now i will explain an example of dpd here we have taken the DPDA for a to the power n b to the power 2n where n is greater than is equal to 1. So the streams where are generated by the given language are as follows L is equal to ABB, comma AA, BBBBB, comma AAA uh, and 6B. Here is followed by double the Bs. Whenever A comes, push a a two times in the stack and if a comes again then do the same. When B comes then pop one A from the stack each time. Note that B comes after A. Finally at the end of the strings if nothing is uh, left in the stack uh, then we declare that language is accepted in the period. Now move on to the next slide. So here is an example. As per the diagram, and here we find out that this is a deterministic push-down automata. Move on to the next slide. Here, uh, QF is the final step. Uh, expansion. Now, let's see how a DPDA is work. We will take one input string AA and 4B. First, we scan the string from left to right. Then, first input A as follows. Then, when A comes, push first A two times in the uh, stack and A comes again, then do the same. Then, B comes, uh, pop one A from the stack each time and <coughs> finally, uh, here, fourth input is B and so follow the rule on input B and stack alphabet A and state Q1, pop one A from the stack and state will remain Q1. 6 input is B and so follow the rule 1 input B and stack alphabet A and step Q1. Pop 1 A from stack and step will remain Q1. Thus we reached end of the string so follow the rule 1 input epsilon and stack alphabet Z go to the final step QF as epsilon comma Z by Z. So that's all from my side from the next topic we will continue. Thank you sir. Here are some examples uh, of the next time. So here are some gate level MCQ questions. Number 1 is with reference to of a push down or uh, deterministic push down automata, which among the following do we perform from the states start set with an empty stack? The it is the process the whole string end in the final state and end with an empty. The expression is the empty stack in the end is a requirement relative to finite state autom automata. Second question is that which of the following is or are correct? A language is context free if only if it is accepted by push down automata or push down automata is finite automata which push down stack here both 1 and 2 are true the explanation is 
A language is context free if only if it is accepted by Pushan Automata. For a context free grammar, there is an equivalent Pushan Automata which accepts the language. If the language is not accepted by Pushan Automata, that means language is not context free. And statement two is that Pushan Automata is finite automata which pushes down stack. A Pushan Automata is like a finite automata having memory which is known as stack. Stack is helps in recognizing the languages. The symbols are written on the stack or reading the writing purpose that's all from my side now the next uh, so the third question is which of the following is false uh, so the options are uh, there is a unique minimal dfa for every language second option every nfa can be converted into a equivalent pdf third option complement of every context free grammar is recursive fourth option every non uh, deterministic pdf can be converted to an equivalent deterministic pdf so the false statement is uh, number d every non deterministic a uh, pda can be converted into equivalent deterministic pda uh, it is because a deterministic pda cannot handle uh, languages or uh, grammars which uh, with ambiguity but nd pda can handle language uh, languages with ambiguity and any context free grammar uh, so every non uh, deterministic pda cannot be converted into an equivalent deterministic pda uh, next uh, is uh, uh, question 4 uh, dpda is a pda in which Uh, no state P has uh, two outgoing transaction. Uh, B uh, more than one state can have two or more outgoing transaction. At least one state has uh, more than one transaction and none of them. So our answer here is uh, number A. Uh, no state P has two outgoing transaction. Uh, the explanation is R deterministic Poisson automata is a Poisson automata in which no state P has two or more transaction. Uh, that's the end of our PPT. Uh, I would like to thank you, sir, for giving us this opportunity to present. Very good, the very good. Links. Very good presentation. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you sir. All. Thank you. Thank you.